Superhabitable planets are planets that would support a higher biodiversity and favour the emergence of life more so than here on Earth. First proposed by Rene Heller and John Armstrong in 2014, the idea behind the concept is to understand that Earth may not be the planet most suited for life. Earth has giant deserts, frozen wastes, and our planet may lie on the edge of the habitable zone. Our star is not as long lived as others, and our planet has less volcanic activity than what a super habitable world would. What these facts equate to is that there are fewer areas on Earth, such as Antarctica, to support higher levels of biodiversity. How would a super habitable planet look like, and how far away are they? To fit the model, it would have to be roughly twice the mass of Earth, and the radius would then have to be about a quarter larger than Earth. This would allow for more volcanic activity, allowing more outgassing and the creation of a thicker atmosphere. This would lead to the weather that erodes geological features better, and flatter terrain would develop over time. Another favourable trait of a larger planet is a stronger magnetosphere to deflect incoming solar radiation. They would likely also orbit K-type stars, which are orange stars with a stable main sequence lasting 15 to 30 billion years, significantly longer than our sun's main sequence. A longer stellar lifetime would mean a planet in orbit around an orange star would live longer and have more time therefore for life to evolve. This increases the probability if the conditions on the planet are already favourable. The oceans would be shallower, allowing light to penetrate the depths, and much like on Earth, where there is also sunlight, there is a large diversity of life. There are many more small details to what makes a planet super habitable, but a picture begins to emerge when the details are put in place. A super habitable planet with shallow oceans and flat terrain would have many archipelagos on its surface and much flatter continents with a warm tropical climate. Since the star is orange and emitting different wavelengths of light, plants may take on different colours, making the planet look even more alien. It is speculated that more planets fitting the super habitable model may exist in comparison to Earth-like planets. 9% of stars in the galaxy are estimated to be long-lived K-type orange stars and larger mass super-Earth planets could form around them. One possible candidate world that may fit this description is Kepler-442b, which is located 1,120 light-years away. It is best to keep in mind, however, that with this Ford experiment, all this is only pure speculation, as Earth is the only planet known to support life. However, the practical implication of thinking about how an ideal planet may look like is that when hunting for exoplanets, finding one that fits the proposed super habitable model may be a good candidate for scanning for life on that planet. It may be that having an Earth-centered view of life emerging may be the wrong idea. We may be the anomaly in astronomy. Life may be more likely to have emerged around K-type stars or larger rocky planets than Earth-like ones. So by expanding our views on what habitable means, we may help ourselves in searching for extraterrestrial life. Until next time, thanks for watching.